Can we move? <laughs> Hello, friends! Hello, everyone! Welcome to Living Work Kids TV! We are so glad that you are back with us in Mandy's room. Mandy is out and we have to hurry because she can't see us talking to all of you. <laughs> Right, Martin? Oh, yes, Molly. Remember, we are toys, so we have to be quiet. We have a little adventure for today. Yeah! Look at this, Martin. I found it under Mandy's bed. Is that sneaky? Can we have it? Yes. So, what does Slinky do, Martin? Well, Slinky can stretch and really far and come back a ring small. Whoa, that's right. Today, we are going to talk about someone whose experience and faith were stretched like a slinky. Let's say the magic words. The Bible is the Word of God and we need it in our hearts. Liffy, Daisy, we, we are, are ready. ready! Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode. We're happy to see you again. Let's begin our lesson. Molly and Martin talked about a slinky. A slinky is a toy that can stretch really far and come back to its normal size. It's pretty fun to try. Just like Molly and Martin, we know someone else who is stretched like a slinky. In the book of Judges, chapters 6 through 8, we meet a man called Gideon. Gideon was a regular Israelite that was under control by the nearby nation of Midian. The Israelites and their land were under control by the nation of Midian for seven years until one day God called Gideon and told him that he would be the leader that would free the Israelites and that he would protect him. Gideon at first wasn't sure if he could take up that responsibility, so he asked God to prove himself. Gideon said to God, if the sheep fleece nearby is full of dew and the ground is dry, he knew that God would keep his promise and help him lead the Israelites. The next morning, Gideon woke up to see the ground dry and the wet fleece, but Gideon was still unsure, so to make sure, he asked for another miracle. Gideon asked one last time, but instead, if God made the ground wet and the fleece dry, he would take the responsibility to free Israel. When Gideon woke up the next day, the ground was wet and the fleece was dry. After those miracles, God sent an angel towards Gideon as a sign that he would be there with him. And with that, Gideon was convinced that God would help him free Israel. In order for the Israelites to be free, they needed to fight against Midian. So Gideon called for an army to fight. Gideon felt that he needed lots of soldiers in order to win the battle, but God had different plans. God told Gideon he needed a smaller army than what he had. Gideon was a little nervous, since that meant that they would be outnumbered by the Midian army. But he did as God asked. He told the soldiers that whoever is scared to fight, leave now. When Gideon said that, 22,000 soldiers left the field. Now. Gideon had about 10,000 soldiers left. Although Gideon now had 10,000 soldiers, God still thought there were too many and asked Gideon to have a smaller army again. Gideon took his army to a nearby stream and let them drink from the water. After the soldiers drank water, Gideon said whoever drank from the stream like dogs would have to go home. When the soldiers went home, Gideon was left with only 300 soldiers. Of course, Gideon was worried that there weren't enough men to fight. So God told Gideon to spy on the nearby Midian campsite. There. Gideon overheard two soldiers talking. One of them had a dream that a big loaf of bread came and destroyed their campsite. The other soldier said, that means Gideon would win over the Midians. This gave Gideon more confidence to fight. God stretched Gideon's confidence to be able to fight, just like you stretch a slinky. The day of the fight, Gideon gave his army trumpets and vases. Normally, you wouldn't fight a war with those things, but then again, God had a plan. The Israelites reached the campsite with their trumpets and vases and did what Gideon had commanded them to do. They played their trumpets and smashed their vases and started the war, except it was a little different. The Midians were alarmed and scared of the noise of the Israelites, so scared that they accidentally started attacking each other. Some of the Midian soldiers even ran away from the campsite. This gave the Israelites an opportunity to take over the Midian campsite and defeat the Midian leaders. And just like that, the Israelites won the war against the Midians with the help of God and only 300 soldiers. They were free at last, but how does this relate to a slinky? Easy answer. Gideon's experience as a leader was stretched because of the war and because of God's help. God stretched Gideon's leadership skills and confidence just how slinkies stretch. God also stretched Gideon's faith after all those miracles that he did. 
Something also we can take away from this story is that God will always protect you, even if your enemy looks like he's winning. When you're with God, you will always win the battle. God will protect you always! Thank you, Leafy and Daisy, for sharing with us today's story. Gideon was stretched just like Slinky. He became much more experienced and his faith in God grew bigger. Just when Slinky stretched. Exactly! Leafy, can you share with us today's verse, please? Yes, Martin. Today's verse is 2 Thessalonians 3.3. 3. But the Lord is faithful, and He will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Thank you, Leafy! Whenever we go through a tough situation in life, but trust in God, He protects you just like He protects Gideon in the war. We may not see Him with our eyes, but we can have faith and know. Kids, it feels amazing to worship God. Yes, and now let's call Daisy because it's time for a pop quiz. Who led the war against the Midians? A. Gideon, B. God, or C. All of the above? The answer is C. All of the above. How big was Gideon's army in the end? A. 22,000 soldiers B. 10,000 soldiers or C. 300 soldiers The answer is C. 300 soldiers Who won the war? A. The Israelites B. The Midians or C. No one The answer is A, the Israelites. Where in the Bible can you find this story? 
A, Judges 6 through 8, B, Jeremiah 8 through 10, or C, James 3 through 5? The answer is A, Judges 6 through 8. Last question, what verse can we use to remember today's story? A, Job 13, 7, B, 1 Thessalonians 3, 3, or C, Mark 11, 5. The answer is B, 1 Thessalonians 3, 3. Thank you kids for taking the pop quiz with us. Yes, I'm glad you worked on your memory today. Ah, Molly, I think Mandy's coming away. We, we have to go. Oh, yes, but before we do, let's give God a prayer. Repeat the prayer with us. Dear God, thank you for protecting us when the battle gets hard. Let us stretch our confidence in you just like Gideon's did. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for praying with us. Martin, she's getting close. Goodbye, friends. Remember, sometimes we go through tough situations to get stronger. God, we protect you always. 